Dorf. Dorf Ziegler. Dana Bryan. Give it up to AJ Styles. Our Braun Strowman is in the house. Absolutely. So can I bring in one of the biggest WWE superstars in the world? Mr. Roman Reigns. We, yeah, they, they, they put up with a lot. It, it's reminiscent of your days in the UFC when you were doing that. You know, <laughs> like that. A little different. A little, a little different. Little little different. And now WWE. How are you enjoying it? The, what are the major differences and similarities between the two? Um, Do you think would be the I, next thing for you? I feel like if you're not constantly adapting or changing a little bit, then you're you get passed over very easily. And uh, but adapting to the business isn't always you know going from shorts to pants or short hair to long hair or you know or different moves. It's insane the amount of people who do want to be in the WWE. I mean, and 1% of those people will make it. And it's very difficult, it's very competitive, and people come from all walks of life. We have Olympians, we have uh, strong men, we have, you know, every kind of athlete you can imagine. We even have a, a guy who came from theater. And I fed off the energy of the crowd. The louder they cheered, the stronger I would be. And I was like, man, I was like, I really like that. And WWE approached me and offered me a deal and stuff. No matter what the situation where you are, um, a lot of people who are great at their jobs might be sitting on the bench if we were all on one show. So, or all one roster. So. My route was boxing and NFL, and I tailored myself to be the best athlete I could be, and the biggest man I could be on the football field. And then, you know, making that transition to WWE, I had to lose weight, I had to change my body type, my personality a little bit. He, I don't care. You know, he, CM Punk, some people say he failed, but. One, he had balls and balls enough to get in the ring, and, and I'm, on my side, it's the same way. I mean, I have a lot of guys that are in impact right now, but. As far as training and, and traveling now, it's up to me to put in the work by myself, whereas before you had mandated practices and, and things like that. And the schedule that we have as a WWE superstar, there's no off season. It's 52 weeks a year. I mean, we're constantly on the road. We're constantly just, you know, traveling globally. So sometimes you need some help. And up to me and said like, what great morale, what a great locker room we have, and it just leads to our live events being that much more fun. Really learn how to bring myself out and convey emotion to an audience around yeah. the world. Yeah. Uh, Cena is gonna be here tomorrow night. Yeah. And he, in a way, well, he's taken a similar path to yours. Mm -hmm. He became famous in wrestling, and then now he's acting. Is there any rivalry between the two of you? Uh, but the, that was a fake but, no, rivalry. Well, here's the thing, I mean, and you can ask. Of the matchups that I think that I need, I think that would be a good matchup to have. Because right now, Brock really doesn't have anybody to wrestle. They're just kind of throwing people there because, and that's, everybody's like, well, Brock takes off because if he stayed on there full time, what is he going to do? Just squash everybody on the roster? It was, it was so real. Like, we really? had real problems with each other. Really, if we rang the bell and, 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 and just said fight, <laughs> there'd be some murders going on. Wow, we really did. Which, by the way, led to, at that time, they were still uh, had a, doing a pay-per-view model. We broke records, WWE records with a pay-per-view, but like, we had real issues with each other. So when you see him, you can talk to him. You guys don't really have anybody to really challenge him. So you need somebody legitimate and credible to go against Brock to make it make sense. And I think I'm the only person. Some of the, uh, I mean, we got some great competitors in the WWE, so. Uh, I appreciate that, and it is the land of opportunity, I think. Only hurts in the ring. Knock on wood. So what's Knock the, what's the worst you've copped? Oh, I got a few black eyes from Nikki Bella. It's the older I get, the, the harder it is to recover from just getting hurt. Had that crossover situation, but I can speak for all the locker room and all the guys that bust their butt week in and week out. It's made grown men and women cry. Professional wrestling, folks. <laughs> Everybody thinks, like, okay, it's not <sighs> real. What we do is entertainment. But sometimes we have to accentuate when we're hurt, but other times when we're actually hurt, <sighs> we accentuate that we're not hurt. It was, it was so real. We had real issues with each other, so when you see him, you can talk to him. Like, we really? had real problems with each other. It's the older I get, the, the harder it is to recover from just getting hurt. You've coughed. Oh, I got a few black eyes from Nikki Bella. Okay. Is that in the world of wrestling, as you guys know, right? It's, it's fictionalized, it's a TV show. Um, I would say that uh, WWE is much more like, like movie fight choreography. It's much more like that mm -hmm. than, than fighting. Um, 
I'd relate it more to like Broadway where everyone does their own stunts mm -hmm. and everybody learns the lines like right before they go out there and all the fight choreography is pretty much made up on the fly. story, your character, tiny little layers here and there that make you stand out, that make you... They're very rewarding because you're really getting people who love what you do and they love watching what you do and now you're standing in front of them and you're brightening their day, so that's awesome. But it's also a platform for me to step out and shine and show the world that what's inside me, the passion that I have to do and drive and, 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 and influence people's lives. That's the coolest thing about being a WWE superstar. That moment to where I'm someone who maybe by WWE standards wasn't totally looked at as a star, but by the fans who created all the buzz for me, looked at as a star as like, we did this together, so I think I can feel that. And I fed off the energy of the crowd. The louder they cheered, the stronger I would be. And I was